Welcome back to Bloomberg West. I'm Nicole Lappin. We turn now to our partnership with George Washington University's Planet Forward. It's a group that seeks out innovative ideas in the areas of energy and sustainability. Gadget junkies, we're always looking for the next big thing, whether it's a new smartphone or a tablet. But what actually happens to that old device once we get a new one? Likely it's thrown away in the drawer or forgotten. But one company wants to make recycling your old gadgets as easy as going to an ATM. And the best part is that they pay you. Here's Planet Forward's Frank Setsdale. In the U.S., an estimated 150 million cell phones are retired every year. What happens to them? All those iPods, MP3 players, all that stuff. Well, some go to charity, get dropped off at electronic stores or sold online, but most are tossed away or just gather dust in a forgotten drawer. The latest studies, just 3 to 10 percent of old cell phones are properly recycled. So one company based in San Diego is trying to improve on that and fundamentally change the way we dispose of our unwanted devices. They uploaded their idea to Planet Forward. The automation in the kiosk, collecting these devices, inspecting, and paying people on the spot. So you know where the machine is, you know when you want to sell your phone, where to go, you know you're going to get money for it, you know that your data is going to be handled safely. Eco ATM got the idea by seeing those big green Coinstar machines. Well, the only way to really make this thing happen was to build a technology, a piece of technology that could pay you on the spot, put it in your normal walk of life, make it fun, interactive, fast. Uh, and do it immediately. The logic, if it works for nickels and dimes, why not nanos and droids? But here's the innovation. Thanks to artificial intelligence and improved sensors, Eco ATM says its system is just as easy. You go up to the machine, you put the phone or other device into the chamber. We automatically figure out what kind of a device it is, whether it's an iPhone or a Blackberry or what have you. At that point, the robot will give you the appropriate connector. You plug it in, we would then interrogate the device, figure out whether the, it powers up, whether the screen's good or bad, whether there are any mechanical damage, and then we would ascertain the make, model, and condition of that device. If you like the price that we're able to offer you, you say yes, we'd bin the phone, and then pay you up cash on the spot. Over a three-decade career in high-tech, CEO Tom Tully built and sold electronic devices, some of which are leaking toxins into the earth. Eco ATM, he says, is a way to both make money and pay something back. 75% of everything we collect finds a life as a cell phone. About 25% of we collect is either too old or is too broken to be repaired, and we'll send them to environmentally responsible recyclers who will smelt that down for the gold, platinum, palladium that's within the devices and make sure nothing hits a landfill. The market for used phones is growing, especially in the developing world. Matching supply to demand is the backbone of Eco ATM's business model and might just be a way to move the planet forward. And joining us now from Washington is Frank Cessna, the creator of Planet Forward. So I wasn't sure at first how I felt about this reverse ATM. I usually just like to take the money and not give stuff necessarily. But can this machine actually collect all of my unwanted gadgets or just the phone? Well, not all of them, but lots of them. You know, the average person has about five uh, cell phones kicking around at home. I've got a basket full of them. I think I keep them almost as a souvenir because I really don't know what to do with them and I don't just want to throw them in the trash. The good thing about this is that you can, as I said, take it in. It'll measure up the phone, tell what kind of value it's got and give you an offer on the spot. You don't have to take it. They've got about 180 machines now uh, where they're uh, dispersing them and they hope to go to 300 machines nationwide. So maybe this is the trend, things to come. You can go get rid of your quarters in one, your, your old cell phones in another and rent a movie and go home and have a good time. Who knows? See, I like that. See, Frank, even though you're into the posterity, I would take the cash over keeping that for the memories. Frank, always good to Money see you. Money is always in good taste, right? <laughs> a thousand percent agree. Uh, and if you have an idea for Frank, you can visit Planet Forward at planetforward.org. He looks at all of these submissions, so send him any ideas on environmental or sustainability news. You can check out bloomberg.com slash sustainability.